Thank you for that plain talk from Kansas. And uh, Madam Speaker, uh, yield now the gentleman from Arkansas, one of the brightest and most respected members of Congress, uh, Mr. Hill. Well, I thank the Vice Chairman of the conference. Uh, Madam Speaker, if the Biden administration were a new TV show streaming on Netflix or HBO, it clearly would have been canceled after the end of the first season. <laughs> on this anniversary of Mr. Biden's failed first year, I call attention to the crisis at the southwest border, a crisis which President Biden and the Democrats have continuously chosen to turn a blind eye. In just one year, over 1.7 million illegal immigrants have been apprehended at the border, an all-time high. President Trump spent four years fighting to secure our border by enacting policies to keep Americans, especially in our communities along the border, safe. After less than a month in office, President Biden revoked the Trump-era border policies and replaced them, Madam Speaker, with what? Absolutely nothing. In April, three months after Joe Biden took office and two months after these policies were rescinded, I made my seventh trip to the southwest border. During that visit, I witnessed the most unstable conditions that I've seen since coming to Congress. I immediately called on President Biden then to reinstate the Trump-era policies that were working along our border. Finally, just a few weeks ago in December, it was announced that President Biden planned to re-implement President Trump's Remain in Mexico policy. But, Madam Speaker, we need action, not talk. President Biden should visit the border, talk to the communities there. President Biden should fire his Homeland Security Secretary, who's not getting the job done. So in this first failed year, President Biden has neglected our southwest border. That neglect is evident with deteriorating conditions, apprehensions at an all-time high, and record amounts of illegal drugs pouring across our open border, poisoning our families. Americans deserve better. Americans deserve a secure border. Americans deserve leadership. I thank my friend, and I yield back.